What's up guys, welcome to your 191st Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do now is refer to this um, notification manager. Pretty much that's all we're going to do for this tutorial. Let's learn about some of the methods it has and how we actually send this notification again to the notification service. Um, it's going to be pretty simple for the most part, but there's some key factors that you guys have to remember uh, when working with the no notification manager. So. What we're going to do is, uh, again, within our onClick method, we're just going to say no, uh, notification manager, and we're going to say notify. And basically, what we need to do is we need to pass in a certain key or a unique ID, and also which notification we want to set up. So we're just going to say a unique ID, and we'll set that up in a second. And then we also have to pass in which notification. Again, we have this notification called in, so that's what we're going to pass in. And the reason we need a unique ID is well actually I'll show you but we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go above our class and we're gonna set this equal to static uh, final and then paste equals and then some kind of unique uh, number oh and also we have to say it's an int um, so there we go uh, we set up set up that unique number and basically uh, now if we run our application I'll show you guys the problem that we're having and why we need that unique ID. So if we go down to our status bar class, hit button. Um, as you can see, we get this message, and uh, you know that's cool. But uh, we're going to go down and we're going to hit our message. It's still going to open up our tent and uh, open up that pending intent. But as you can see, our notification never went away. It's still there. And you're like, what's going on? Why didn't that clear? Um, well, we can hit the clear button there, and it'll clear it. But we want it to clear right when we, you know, open up our pending intent. So how we're going to do that is refer to the unique ID uh, within our onCreate method. And again, um, if you guys want to check out the sample code, I believe uh, with the the Google sample code, it starts up a service and it cancels it that way. But this is just kind of you know a quick tutorial on notifications so um, I didn't want to go into building a whole service that handles our notification and all that stuff but uh, what we're going to do is refer to this unique ID within our onCreate method um, because again once we you know start up our pending intent it's going to call this onCreate method and that's where we're going to clear the notification it's uh, just a quick fix probably not the best uh, way to do it but what we're going to do is we're going to refer to our notification manager and we're just going to say dot cancel and as you can see it takes an int or an ID and that's what we're going to refer to our unique ID um, because you know we don't want it uh, to cancel other people's notifications and stuff like that so we need to have a unique ID of some sort and here's just our unique ID it's just a random number um, but uh, that's kind of why um, again that's kind of why we need that unique ID so we can actually cancel the notification and then quickly also uh, just because and again I'm not gonna run it it's still gonna be the old running but just to show you guys another problem we're having is if we you know hit the button we get this notification we hit our notification it opens up another intent uh, opens up another activity the same activity and then once we hit the back button oh you know we have all of these activities open so just again a quick fix for that we're just gonna say um, within our on click method after we no call the notify method we're just gonna say finish and after we hit our button, it'll send our notification, finish the activity, and then once they hit the notification, it's going to start up our class, and it's going to start up our notification manager, and it's going to cancel that unique ID, that that uh, notification. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully, you guys understood what we're, um, you know, hopefully you guys understand the purpose of the unique ID and how to notify, you know, cr actually create our notification on the status bar, and also how to cancel that notification on the status bar. So um, that's pretty much the purpose of this tutorial. And again, uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Hope you have a good one, and see you later.